So now I'm gonna show you how you can make your own hummingbird feeder using items that you might already have around your house. Um, here are the things that you need. Most importantly, uh, an old water bottle and an old container. Um, if you don't, I like the smaller container, but you could also use an old takeout container like this, or even a Tupperware is a butt kind of container like this. The flimsier, the better, the kind that you can kind of squish. I like this a little smaller, it's easier to work with. Um, you also need some glue, some kind of twine or metal wire. Um, the sturdier, the better. It'll just last longer. If you use twine like this, it might wear out over time. You just have to retie, retie it up. Not so difficult to do. You also need a pen. And then you need scissors and screwdrivers. Now, if you're a young person watching this and possibly wanting to make your own hummingbird feeder, make sure you have parents handy to help you with this part. The first step is to take your container here. This is a container I'm reusing. It used to have kefir cheese in it. I got it at the farmer's market. Um, and the first thing you do is you poke a hole with the screwdriver. You just want a little hole, nothing too crazy. Next, we're gonna take our water bottle. We're going to put the end of the water bottle right on this part here in the middle, and then we're gonna trace it with our pen. Just like that. This is the last time we need the pen. We don't need that anymore. Now, we're going to want to try and cut the hole right along where we traced it. So I got my scissors here. Cut up to the side. Let me show you on this side. Now it doesn't need to be perfect. You just need to be able to get this into here. It might take a little bit of a screw. Look at that. I'm able to screw it right in there. Just like the lid would. Now we're going to take our glue. And that's why I have this old paper bag out just to make sure any glue drips it doesn't go on my table. It's always handy. If you have hot glue, this works even better. I don't have hot glue, so I'm using Gorilla Glue. I'm gonna put it right around the edge and cover up all the gaps. Flip it over and do the other side. Now we want this to dry, so I'll be right back. Now my bottle is just about dry, the glue is just about dry, but while it was drying, a little bit of it dripped off. And that's gonna happen, especially if you don't have a hot glue gun. So make sure you have a wet, a damp paper towel handy, and you can wipe off the little bits where it may be dripping. Luckily, most of mine dripped on the bag. And that's why you have the bag, protect the table. The next thing we're gonna do is take the lid to our water, water bottle. Now, if you have a regular lid that seals off completely, I don't have one of those with me right now, um, what you're gonna wanna do is go back to the screwdriver and put the screwdriver right on the top of the lid, set it down, and poke a hole through it. Just like that, one little hole. You can have your parents do that if it's not something you're, you're, you're able to do. Um, with this bottle, it has this kind of lid. 
it already has a hole in it. See? And so, since it already has a hole, I'm just going to break off this top piece right here. Boop. Now we've got our hole. We're going back to our bottle. I'm going to screw this part in. Boom. We have our container. And look at that. Now, what we're gonna do next is use our screwdriver. Instead of a flat head, we want to use the Phillips head side. That's the side with the four sides coming to a point. Um, if you have a smaller one like this, that's even better. We're gonna poke holes in the lid area so the hummingbirds can stick their beak in to get the nectar that we're gonna put inside. So I'll do one right here. Bloop. Now, some of my holes are better than others. They're a little more firm. Other ones cracked a little bit. That's okay. Uh, the hummingbird will stick its beak where it can find any kind of food, and it'll sense out the, the, the nectar inside of your feeder, and it will go out and search for it. So you can see some of these over here are much better. This is kind of a big open crack, but that's fine. That works too. Now we have our hummingbird feeder. We have holes for the hummingbirds to eat. The next step is the twine. All we gotta do is tie this up so that it can hang. Now, we have our hummingbird feeder. Um, if you have a little trouble with the rope or whatever, or the twine that you're using, you can use uh, clear tape to stick it to the bottle, make it a little easier, tie it as tight as you can. Um, you can see I even struggled with it a little bit. It's not always easy. You gotta figure it out as you do it. Um, now, what you fill this water bottle with, you take this back off, You unscrew the top and fill the water bottle with nectar. You remember I was just talking about that. You To make nectar you use four parts water to one part sugar, so four cups of water to one cup of sugar. Let the sugar dissolve, fill up your water bottle, Close this back up. 
just like this, the water will, the sugar, the sugar water, the nectar will fill up in the bottom here and the hummingbirds can reach in and have a drink of nectar. And now you've got your home hummingbird feeder that you made yourself. You can paint this if you want, make it colorful, any kind of way you want to do this. Otherwise, it works just fine like this. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, if you love nature like I do, check out my YouTube channel and my IGTV at Jason Journeyman. Uh, I'm an outdoor environmental educator and I love to teach. It's good for kids of all ages. I'll see you soon.